Hello friends, how are you all doing? So I am Prayas and we have Madhav with us. You might have seen him in previous videos. Yeah. And today we are going to Academy and he's having his solo flight. So he will be going alone. He is instrument rated pilot as you can see. And so he is in his solo phase. And we have to do like 100 hours solo out of which 70 hours solo is one course that he has just started. So it is time building and you learn a lot in that. And it is fun to go at different airports. So Madhav will tell you something about today's flight. Alright, uh, thank you Priyas. You're welcome. So this is, as Priyas told, this is my solo flight. I had yesterday also, I had to cancel it because of uh, weather and you know, I couldn't fly yesterday. But today weather seems good, so I think I'm gonna fly. And uh, I have like so many options like Okala, Brooksville, uh, St. Augustine in North and Vero Beach in South. So I'm gonna plan one of these airports. But I have been to Okala and Brooksville like twice or thrice so I don't want to go there again so most probably I'm gonna choose uh, either of uh, St. Augustine or Vero Beach as Priyas have already been to St. Augustine so I'm gonna seek some uh, help from him yes yeah so he can tell me about uh, St. Augustine like sure. uh, what, should, what uh, things I should keep in mind when I'm going to St. Augustine so let's ask Priyas what he's gonna tell me about the St. Augustine it will take almost if you go like uh, almost 24 25 cars you will reach there within 60 minutes. So within two hours you can come back. Two hours? Yeah, like I got like three hours I think. And I have to be there before three hours I think. Okay. So uh, I think it will be good to go St. Augustine, right? How is it like the airport and everything? How is it So at St. Augustine it's not that big airport but yeah they do have tower to control. Okay. And there are two runways. Okay. It is near sea coast so once you take off you can see the coastal line and the view is amazing. All right. And did you file the like uh, separate flight plan from St. Augustine to Stanford? Yeah, I filed separate flight plan. And did you do like full stop and taxi back or like you went that's uh, involved? No, I we did full stop taxi back because uh, there was star and my instructor wanted me to pick new I for clearance from the ground control itself. Okay. So I contacted ground and then I picked a new I for clearance and then I took off again. Okay, so there is like uh, a star purpose for the airport? Uh, star is not published. They will just tell you runway heading or any heading and take off. Oh, they will just give it the normal clearance, right? Yeah, the normal clearance. So they will not say that Sanford is departure like the Sanford Pisa. They won't give that. There is no such kind of fixed departure. Okay. So after that, once you take off, you will contact approach. Then approach will give you direct to Meteo. Or Kaiser. Kaiser. Okay, and then direct to Sanford. Right? right. That's all. And uh, first you will be in contact with Jacksonville approach. And then Daytona. And, and then Daytona. And after that, Orlando. That's all. I That's would, it? I would prefer, yeah, I would suggest you to go there. No, I'm so worried about the time only, that's it, because I don't want to, you know, take more than three hours. If I take more than three hours without refueling, you know, every policy is not right. No, you won't take uh, more than three hours. Yeah, sure, you because nah, no, it's not about the three hours. It's like I have uh, scheduled out time at like two thirty, mm -hmm. but you know it takes like it normally it takes like you know half an hour to oh, depart yeah. from here only. Right, 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 so right. my time is two thirty, but I think like I'll be departing at three or three okay, fifty. If I leave at this at three fifteen, I'll have to come back by five thirty. So okay. it's like ultimately two and two hours and two hours and a half. No, 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 no. So I got only like 2.5 hours. So is it possible so, to go and come back within 2.5 hours? Uh, I would suggest you to go Okala then. Because Okala is nearby and if you feel like uh, doing some time pass throughout the route, you can just hold it. Hold it anywhere, yeah. Like So today I will give you a short tour of L3 Harris Airline Academy. I hope you will like that and just now we have reached L3 Harris. Mother you can show them. Yep.
start with the very first day when you will be here what happens then I'll tell you everything from that point how you move on to your flight training so I'll be going there uh, midway and I'll show you around Today is a nice sunny day but it is a bit hazy. Winds are calm and it's best day like to fly for solo students because you know it helps in landing a lot the calm winds. So behind me you can see uh, it is the welcome center the building. So that is a place where you will be coming here on your first day and you will go there you will meet uh, the team and you will be welcomed by them you will also submit some documents and yeah you will be getting uh, an id card from them which you can use it for your address proof or anything so that will be your first day then you'll move on to the academics building which is behind me <laughs> there you will start your ground school for your private pilot license course and there is the cafeteria and LRC in the same building so after the ground school you will move on to the small room over there you can see L3 Harris the small room that is the place where you will give your FAA exams before you start your flying then comes the ops building which is behind me you can see the big name L3 Harris that is a place where you will start your flight training and you will prepare for your flight you will do all your flight operations in that building then the next building behind me is the administration building so there are various departments finance department international head of operations and all other departments so they look after your funding and also they send reports to airlines about your performance also today we have Pymans on campus which is the food truck behind me that is one of the favorite food truck of everyone so now I will show you the academics building let's take a look so now we are academics building so I will show you how many rooms are in the academics building so the academics building briefing room so ये पहले silent study room था but अभी इसको briefing room किया गया है so यहाँ पे pre flight and post flight briefing होते and उसके बाद आपका जो भी EOC या कोई भी stage oral होगा oral exams यहाँ पे होंगे सारे there are few offices on the right side you can see then comes the classroom B. This classroom is where I started my private course, the ground school, and then I moved on to flying. This is the assembly room. So many meetings and get togethers happen in assembly room. There is another classroom, classroom alpha. Most of the time I've seen stands classes in this classroom. Now comes classroom Charlie, which is mainly for instrument classes. So there are different classrooms, Delta, Echo, Golf. On my left side you can see restroom for men's. Then there are different frames. You can see details of A340, then so details of the chopper, then CRJ 1000 next gen then comes another classroom which is hotel classroom H there is another classroom classroom India I so this is for commercial classes now I'll show you LRC which is 
Learning Resource Center. As you can see, this is pretty big and I've studied here many times. I've spent my most of the time in studying it at LRC. Many of them come study, they do practice on these sims and then there is also a tutor who sits over there. Uh, you can just ask your doubts to him or her and there are some time slots uh, when they are present here. So you can come accordingly and you can also schedule your appointment with them if you have any of the any doubts. So here are different instruments, parts of engines and this gives you a pretty closer look of how actual instruments are in the plane. And There's a piston over here. Then there are tires, batteries, crankshaft, different types of different parts of the engine. This is the actual engine. You can see inside. You can take a closer look and see inside the crankshaft, how it works, along with the camshaft. These are this is six cylinder engine which is continental engine here you can see propeller there is another engine so so this is another engine which is again six cylinder engine in Cessna we have four cylinder engine this one is of six cylinders so when I came here for first time um, they showed us this engine and you can literally see inside um, the parts the crankshaft then the engine itself piston the spark plugs then there are these are the lids to close the inlet and exhaust valve and there are two spark plugs for each cylinder yeah that's pretty good if you are more interested in the engines you can just check it out there are some books over here you can refer these books if you want you can study from these books and yeah you're free to use these books to study And over there you can see a uh, few PCs on which you can practice Garmin or any other software that will help you in enhancing your qualities of flying. the silent study room so, so this is the silent study room here I won't be talking much and on my right side you can see filter and you also you are also provided with the glasses if you want to drink water Abam chalte cafeteria mein we have microwave fridge you can bring your meal from home you can have fresh home cooked meal by reheating it and also if you're coming early you can use the fridge here are some drinks or chips if you are hungry you can 
get it from here and you can make the payment in this machine nowadays all the ground schools are done online so you are not supposed to come here for ground school due to covid-19 so these are the briefing rooms where you do your pre-flight and post-flight briefings this is the place where you sit after your flight also uh, some of the stage and and of course orals happens in these rooms and now comes the pc where you can print your flight plan and also airport diagrams these are the telephones you can use them to call weather briefer to get briefings for weather throughout your flight and now comes the tables you can sit here and prepare for your flight these are all in your cages from my batch <laughs> solo yeah solo solo get it guys we are inside uh, the simulator building so these are the sims which we have uh, this is for 172 sp so as you can see so here is the controls for it this is how it looks so during your instrument flights you have many sessions on these simulators so this is the another one sim which is for same cessna 172 sp they were using the runway 13 so when you take off from runway 13 you just go uh, towards the south line so it was awesome when i took off again from the sonda question yeah the uh, view amazing. was awesome and i took some pictures also usually and like whenever we go solo there even i went there uh, with my instructor we always take pictures it's that beautiful yeah exactly like of course flying is the other part of flying we love flying the other reason is about views so we love views and so yeah i departed at like 245 or 3 i think and uh, i requested 7000 feet so i went up to climbed up to 7000 feet and i went to st augustin and then back to sanford and it took me like near about 3 hours and i did like couple of approaches at sanford there also st augustin so overall it was good little bit tired because of the you know hotness bahut zyada garmi hai and everything was good flying was good going back home safely and uh, everything is good nice so back to you prayas <laughs> so i hope you will like this video if you like it do press the like button 
share the video and don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon button so that you won't miss any of my new videos so from now on in all my next videos you will see me and madhav together and we will tell you guys more information about the flying and what you should take care of so that's all for today and i'll see you guys in the next one lots, lots of, of love. love bye bye